Welcome back everyone, it's Joseph here for Zenny62. So, as you can see, this footage above you, uh, I filmed this back uh, for the grand opening of um, Avengers Campus back in June 4th. Now, you can see this main street practically empty. Everyone was at California Venture for the grand opening. And this is Disneyland, when there still was a mask mandate uh, to be worn inside the park. So, the reason why I'm showing this is that, as you have read in my title, that both Disney parks in California, Disneyland, and Disney World in Florida have reinstituted their mask mandate. Now, here in California, on June 15th, that ban was lifted, which to me, even then, I had complained to people that's just an arbitrary date that had no science or statistic behind it. It was just a date that everybody wanted to feel that uh, the COVID was over. And I think anybody who reads the science or look at statistics, this virus wasn't over. Uh, the Delta variant was spreading across different parts of the world. And eventually it's it's here. I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's a, my last report. Uh, with regards to the variant and the NFL, is that it's spreading like wildfire. The NFL has constituted a new mandate requiring uh, every team to severely push for them to be vaccinated, if not uh, potential the, the forfeiture of games. Thus, this is also happening across the country with theme parks. Uh, Disneyland and Disney World uh, who really take seriously the health and welfare of their guests have decided that the masks need to come back. Now, the ridiculous part of this is that they're requiring it only for indoors and making it optional for any of the guests uh, to wear it outdoors. But at the same time, cast mer members are required to wear it both indoors and outdoors, either face shields or face masks. And as you can see, this is the day you see people walking around with face masks, and there seems not to be any issues. If you want to go to Disneyland, you just got to do what you have to do to enjoy your time there. Um, this is also a time you might look and see, well, look, for a Friday evening, it's sure pretty empty. And that's because this is also a time when they had a limited amount of people that were allowed to come in. I think it was at anywhere from 15 to 25 percent. Now, since then... Uh, they've increased it probably to 50-60%. And you see the significant difference in new footage uh, that's out there. So this is the concern. Is that now with the increase in the amount of people that are allowed to come into the park. And having that optional to wear it outdoors. There's going to be a lot of crowding. Especially that fireworks and parades are back in, in play. That... It's a ridiculous thing not to continue to have them wear it outdoors because people are smacked right in front of each other, literally inches within each other when they're in front of each other for getting into a ride in a line, uh, in a line to get beverages, food, in a line to look at the fireworks, to, to sit and stand next to people at parades. So... You know what this this variant is more contagious than the previous COVID nineteen, and so to not require them to wear it outdoors, as everybody in, in this footage you see that, and that's something they have to do. I mean, the fact that they're trying to ease into this by saying you have to wear it indoors, they should just outrightly say that you have to wear a mask again, because this. COVID Delta variant is never going to end and we're never going to go back to normal. This could be our new normal for years and years to come if people don't act right, if people don't get the vaccine. It's a ridiculous notion that people don't want to get the vaccine. That's why this is continuing to happen. Uh, LA County uh, started the mask mandate again more than uh, a week ago, going on two weeks. And Orange County has yet to do that where Disneyland resides, but the park itself is requiring it. 
And it, 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 something that I've always discussed is that it's foolish to think that just because one county in Southern California is requiring it and the other county isn't, doesn't mean that in the county border that the variant is going to cease to exist. Uh, this thing is spreading like crazy, and not unless you plan to have only residents of a certain county attend Disneyland, and that goes for Disney World as, too, as well, then this has to be a continued thing and must be incorporated by all the counties in Southern California if they're going to do it for one, and specifically California in general. Um, you know, San Francisco is facing some uh, harsh decisions whether or not to continue doing the mandates or not, um, and that's... Uh, something they're going to have to do sooner than later um so let me know what you think down below and uh it's unfortunate but masks are here to stay for the conceivable future uh if you don't like the mask i don't like to wear a mask but hey when people don't follow the rules people don't get vaccinated and don't take this seriously this is the result of that keep it here on zenny 62 don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time